Hello, welcome to Benjamin Tree. Today we are going to be looking at date serial numbers in Microsoft Excel. One thing to think about is when you're making a date, there's a regular format. So for example, if we wanted to do type in a date, we want to type in March 31st, 2012, we can type it like that and it automatically saves it as a date. And one of the basic ways that we can view this is through showing 3-31-2012 separated by slashes. But behind that, so Microsoft Excel is not storing the date in this format. It's actually format saving it in a serial number format. And let's look at that today. Okay, so we're going to start off with a serial number. We're going to start off with the very first serial number of all the dates. So if we type in just the serial number 1, Okay, that's going to be our first date that Microsoft Excel will, you know, form using just the number one. We can see what that is. So I'm going to take this cell C2 and make it equal to the cell in B2. Okay, right now it's coming off as just one. But we're going to change that from a general number up here. We're going to change it to the short date. And that's coming off as January 1st, 1900. Okay, so we're going to change everything in this to be the short date. So that way we can see how these, um, all these different serial numbers are portrayed as a date. So if we go to 2, you could probably make a good educated guess that this date is going to be January 2nd, 1900. So let's put that in. And as you can see, we get January 2nd. 1900. We can also do the reverse. So in C4, we're going to put in the date, uh, how about January 23rd, 1945, and we want to find out what that serial number is. So we're going to set the cell B4 equal to the date. All right, right now it's giving us the date, but we're going to change that number back to a general number, so that way it has no specific form. So, 1945, January 23rd, 1945, is actually the serial number 16,460. It's the 16,460th day in the entire series of numbers for dates. Okay? Well, something interesting we can do is, let's say we wanted to go to January 30th in 1945, and we want to find out what that number is, we can find the serial number. We can take January 23rd, we take the serial number, and we add 7 to it. And that gives us the serial number 16,467. So when we set the cell C5 equal to B5, we get January 30th, 1945. So what happens is sometimes Excel can do some equations where it can calculate the number of days between two dates. And all it's doing is just finding the difference between the serial number. Now you might be wondering, what is the maximum number that we can actually put in to the serial numbers? And that's going to be 2,958,400 and 65 as the final serial date. Okay, and if you can guess that, it's going to be December 31st, 9,999. So when we, set, when we set C6 equal to B5, and that's the day that we get. Now, if we add just one number to this maximum serial number, and we change it to 2,958,466, and we try to find the date to it, we're going to get an error. Okay, it's saying, hey, we can't display that. Okay, so again, just a quick review, we can take a serial number, okay, or we can take the date first, and we can find out what the equivalent is. So again, we put in July 4th, 2016 here, we can find the serial number by changing this date to just a general number. And again, if we wanted to find out if we wanted to find out the serial number or, uh, for July 11th, 2016, we can just take the serial number here and we can add the appropriate number of days to that, which would be 7. 
And so if we find out if we change this serial number back into the date, oops, we need to change this over to date, short date, we get July 11th, 2016. So we can find the difference between two dates. So even between you know, these two dates, we can find how many days there are between. So for example, we could do, we could set this to July 11th minus July 4th, the same year, and we get seven days because it's subtracting these two serial numbers from each other. Okay, so these kinds of uh, adding subtracting dates can help us later on. But right now, understanding how these serial numbers work will help us better understand for future functions that we might use with uh, dates. So uh, for practice, I made a little uh, series here. I went through and picked some uh, major events in the 21st century. Uh, just a quick reminder, we can't go back to the 19th or 18th century because it starts at 1, which is 1900. So for this, I just picked uh, major events in the 21st century. Okay, so first thing you should do is come over here to dates and right here under this tab on the home on the home ribbon there's a section called number if we hit this number open you can choose a date and however you want to format whatever you think is best uh, you might be coming from a a country that might have a little bit different uh, styling for dates uh, you know I'm using the English United States but you can also change it to English uh, United Kingdom and choose whatever works for you okay so what you can do is you can go through the you know the internet and use Google and find out when these major events uh, happened and you type in the date here and it should format it into a correct date format and then you should set the serial number the CCOM to this date so that way you can find out what the serial number for these major dates were and if you're having if you can't get serial number display as a regular number remember to come up here and change it to a general no specific format to get the serial number. When you finish, you can come down here to the practice answer keys and you can check to make sure that you're getting the correct serial numbers. Thank you for using Benjamin Tree today. We hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on the YouTube channel or you can head over to the blog to find out more information and you can leave a comment there. Thank you and have a wonderful day.